Well, hi, everybody. It's that time of year again. It's Black Friday when we pay too much for stuff we don't actually need and give it away to people we don't actually like. I like to celebrate this time of year the same way every year by rolling out a brand new series of craps. Crap, as you may know, stands for collectibles, rare and precious. For the last few years now, it's been my uh, ongoing telethon of sorts. A modest attempt to raise some money for the MicroWorks Foundation and bolster our work ethic scholarship program. I do this by selling the crap in my garage and my various offices to the highest bidder. The crap in question primarily was accumulated over 10 years of doing dirty jobs in various other TV shows. In some cases, the crap is donated by viewers and I tell a little story about the crap and you pay too much for it so I can take your money and help fund the aforementioned work ethic scholarships. Today's craptacular uh, is a very special, thoughtful offering for Black Friday. You can probably get a hint of what it is since I, I wrote it on the board. It's this. It's a skull. Is that not fantastic? It is the skull of a bison. I've had it for the last couple of years. I've displayed it in a number of fascinating places, but the time has come to part with it. The time has come to give it to you. Assuming, of course, uh, you have your checkbook handy and you're willing to bid on it, it weighs about probably 25 pounds. It's easy to mount on a wall, and it looks a lot like this. The horns are spectacular, symmetrical, and ideally juxtaposed vis-a-vis -vis its color scheme with the uh, overall shape of the thing. It's black, it's white, it goes virtually anywhere. You can put it on your desk, you can hang it over your mantle, you can put it on your mantle if it's wide and substantial enough, or you can just gaze into its cavity in wonder, as I've done over the years from time to time. This was uh, given to me by my good friend Jay, who runs Skulls Unlimited in Oklahoma City. Those of you who were watching back in 2008, maybe, will remember one of the all-time great dirty jobs. We, uh, we flensed a number of animals uh, and prepared their, their skeletons for display in a, uh, in a, in a museum. Uh, this particular bison, in fact, was, was put in a giant boil. And uh, this was the head. Came right out of there, and I mean, here it is. It's, it's fantastic. Jay sent it to me along with a shirt from Skulls Unlimited. The front of the shirt has a whole lot of different skulls on it from a whole lot of different creatures. The back of the shirt has a whole bunch of different skulls on it from a whole lot of different creatures. Hippopotamus, porcupine, river otter, longhorn, rhesus monkey, muskrat. Oh man, you've got the wildebeest, of course. You've got the African porcupine. I'm glad the wildebeest is on here. This makes me smile. Never works out well for the wildebeest. I have narrated literally hundreds of hours of nature programs where the wildebeest always begins his epic journey across the vast barren reaches of the arid Serengeti only to be consumed at some watering hole. Anyhow, that shirt is available. That comes in an extra large. I will sign it along with this. This apparently is a postcard that they're selling at Skulls Unlimited now. You can get them for a dollar a piece. I didn't know that. I'm glad they're doing it. I have no problem with it, but there it is. That's me holding a real human skull uh, many years ago. Anyhow, all three of these things comprise today's crap offering. It's our Black Friday crap offering. It is the only one of its kind, I believe, in the history of the world. Whatever money we raise, again, goes right to the MicroWorks Foundation, so please click wherever it says click on here and go to eBay and bid. We'll keep it up for a week. High bid gets the aforementioned. That's how we crap. It's really quite simple. One last look at all of what could be yours if the price is right and the crap is tight. I don't know what that means, but it almost rhymes. And that's important for Black Friday. Okay, thank you.